Among the victims was the television astronomer Patrick Moore, whose observatories were virtually smashed to pieces. He could hardly believe it as the tornado moved with deadly force through his garden shortly before midnight. I realized straight away it was a whirlwind. It couldn't be anything else. It was so sudden and so violent. There was so much noise. It was like a, a mighty rushing train. I think so of me. Well, Ian McCaskill of the BBC's Weather Centre is with me. Ian, where would you rate if there was such a thing as, as, as a tornado Richter scale? Where would this one last night rate? I think probably halfway up the scale. It, it, was, it was obviously a very damaging storm, very rare indeed for Britain. I mean, as you say, we get about 60 a year, uh, and most of them completely unseen. We only know they're there because of the damage tracks that we find across fields and hills and things. Uh, the reason the coast is getting them now, of course, is that the sea is still amazingly warm. The, the English Channel, 11 Celsius. I mean, it's, it's really very warm indeed, and that combined with the cumulonimbus cloud, the, ones we, the thunderclouds we had last night, quite enough to cause those local circulations to form. And what is it that makes them so difficult for people like you to predict, to say where they're going to, to land? They are hard to predict because it, it, it is so rare. Only, only 60 a year and, and most of them mini ones, perhaps 100 yards uh, the, the track or half a mile at the, at the most. Very rare indeed. And you've got to predict the, uh, the, the locality of individual thunderclouds to get any chance of forecasting where the tornadoes are going to happen. They're so rare that I, I think we're never going to have much success. Yeah, thanks very much indeed. The Scottish sector was destroyed. I'm very sad about it. The main thing is it can in fact be repaired. It's going to be a major job. But he considers himself lucky it wasn't much worse. I have a fat roof and I was afraid that would come off. I think I'm rather lucky in a way because um, had it hit the house, the entire thing might have caved in.